Donkey donkey. So copy everything down you see here. Pause the video to do so. Ba, 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 pause, 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 copy, copy, copy. Okay, a Riemann sum. Um, you know, it's the integral, but uh, the definite integral, but without the limit. Uh, Riemann was a mathematician in the, um, I think mostly in the 19th century, if not entirely. Um, this integral that we've been using, we, we've been calling it the definite integral. It's also called the Riemann integral. There actually exist different types of integrals, but the first one that you learn is the Riemann integral, which we're going to call the just the definite integral. Um, now let's see, let's see. For this example, the integral here it is equal to limit as n goes to infinity of a Riemann sum n is equal to 1, 2, no, not n i is equal to 1 up to n f of x i delta x um, and we're going to approximate that, approximately equal to, well, not letting n go to infinity, just fixing n at 4. And there's 1 to 4. Uh, 4, right? Four, yes, this, this word 4 here. Uh, my sigma looks funny. Sigma, there we go. Sigma i equals one to four of f of x i delta x. What was that equal? Well, that's f of x one plus f of x two plus f of x three plus f of x four times delta x. Okay, we'll take a, a side here. To decide what is delta x and what are all these x's here. The interval is from 1 to 13 and we're breaking that up into four equal parts. So how does that work? We got one here, we got 13 here. We're dividing that into four equal parts. So that is 12 divided by four, which is three for each of them. So seven and then four. And then we're told to use right endpoints. So what does that mean? We're going to use this one, this one, this one, and this one. That is right endpoints. If we were doing left endpoints, then we wouldn't use the 13, you'd use the one, right? Okay, but we're doing right endpoints. So we use four, seven, 10, and 13. So this one will be x1, 7 will be x2, x3, x4. Now, oops, now what else? Delta x was given in the definition of the definite integral. It's b minus a all over n. So in our case, it's uh, 13 minus 1 over 4, which is the number three we were talking about just a second ago. Well, this in a thought cloud. No, divide that top thought cloud. Okay. Complete the thought cloud. Okay.
So this is f uh, four plus f seven plugged in plus f ten plugged in plus f thirteen plugged in all times delta x, which is three. Um, let's make a bit more space over here. What was the function? Function was x squared plus one over x cubed plus one. So let's write that down here. Minus one. Okay. So now I can look at this guy and fill in all my numbers here. So I get 4 squared plus 1 all over 4 cubed plus 1 plus 7 squared plus 1 all over 7 cubed plus 1 plus 10 squared plus 1 all over 10 cubed plus 1 plus 13 squared plus one all over 13 cubed plus one all this times three so what do you get 17 over 65 plus 50 over I'm gonna say uh, 243 that's a guess 343 343, 340, 343. Um, this is all kind of a bit fuzzy. You know, you're going to be using your calculators to sort this out. I am well, 13 cubed. I'm not going to not going to mess with that. So you plug all this into your calculator, <clears throat> and hopefully, if neither of us has made a mistake, we get 